My guy took nothing, turn it into something. Take a look and see how we craft a masterpiece. Yeah. This kind of loving ain't none above. Boom. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Stephen Malcolm, and welcome to Behind the Music. Nothing into something with Sloan. How you doing, baby? I am I'm pretty pumped to be this side of the land for yeah. a change. A little change, a little change, a little change, man. Nothing into something. It's a special record, dog. Special record, bro. 100% agree. I, uh, I was in Amsterdam when I wrote the record, and my A&R producer was like, yo, you should really make a record that dives into a story that's not your own, which I could do a lot, fall into, you know, just me, 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 me with the music. But this time, I was able to create stories within this one story that embodies my story of nothing into something. Uh, I feel like God does that in everybody's life, you know? How does he take you from nothing into something? And so making this record, the first foundation was my cousin. Uh, my cousin was celebrating his one year sobriety of yeah. you know, alcohol, you know, being free from alcoholism, man. And so that was just the foundation, you know? I got a cousin It's about to be one year sober and it just went from there, man. And so it bled into the video, you know? I showed everybody this record from, you know, producers and you know label heads execs and even homies and it's just like something about this record yo this is special and so with the visual i just always wanted to tie myself with the stories you know what i mean and so i thought you know this really embodies my story from my cousin to you know the people that i'm talking about and even with me starting out with rapping me and my cousin started out rapping yeah i was like 18, 19 years old, we was in this basement of a party house with the homies. You know what I mean? And I remember you sharing the videos? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's why I feel like I honed in on loving the craft of music with, with my cousin. And um, it just blossomed into something big. And so to have him in the video and to actually recreate me going into this house, going into this studio that was my life when I was 18 and 19 years old was something special. And then to actually have my cousin in the video, yeah. you know what I mean? That was the actual handshake that we used to do back in the day, you know what I mean? You set the basement awesome. up just yeah. like it. Uh, the party house, Shane, you know, was the owner of that house. He was the first one to say, hey, truth, when are you going to come to the studio? So the fact that I got a house from, you know, the homie that invited me to first rap and then have my yeah. cousin with me, who's the foundation of the song, in the video with me, it just made it special, bro. So I want to ask you, you know, when you first heard the song and hearing my vision and seeing the lyrics, what was your thoughts? I, when I first heard the song, I, like I, I, I'm, I'm going to be proven right on this. I, I really thought this song is going to blow up. Turn up. I, I love the song. I, uh, I listen to it all the time. Yeah. yeah, I got I got a sneak peek on it. Yeah. I showed it to a couple of people too. And I was like, this song, just wait, yeah. so it's gonna blow up. Yeah. And I, uh, I just loved I loved the message of it, and I loved the celebration of it. Mm -hmm. And I I just I loved that we could we could take your vision that you had, you know how to how to take this and be super personal, yeah. and then yeah. create a video around it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was just just a privilege to to be part of this. Yeah. I love it. And love fun. It. What were like, what were some of the challenges? Was, or were there any challenges? Because if anybody knows Sloan, he knows, or well, you'll know that this dude will shoot take after take after take <laughs> until he gets it right, which that's what I love. Me, I'm a guy who like, I see the vision in my head. You're somebody who I, 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 I'm comfortable with communicating with, and I can, which is dope. That's why I love the relationship. But then like you, you have that eye, that movie eye, my brother, to make it come Thank to life. You. And you push me take after take after take until we get it perfect. So with this video, what was the biggest challenge? All right, so first I just wanna say, I, I was able to do this because of the team around me. Turn up. And because of the collaboration with you. So my wife, Jenna, the, the, the executive producer, to, to Zach, the, the production designer, uh, to Joseph and to, to Trevor, the, the, the grip, uh, and Gafford, and everybody else who volunteered. So we, 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 we did this together. So the biggest challenge is this we try to do as a, as a one, almost like a one take thing, uh, mm -hmm. where you wanted to feel like you were there with you, 
in a moment, yeah. and uh, we, would, we were traversing through different periods of your life, and uh, we wanted to do this as a, as a one take. So we had to choreograph the camera movement uh, every through step. every step, and uh, we had to dial it in, dial it in, and, and because it's a song, it's even harder to do this because you have to nail you have to nail the exact timing of the, the intro, where this thing starts, mm -hmm. and where it exits. So not only do you have to have everything in the middle 100% correct, yep. but you have to nail the exact, like within milliseconds of where you exit the, you go through the door, or you come out of the door. Yeah. And so, you know, we were, we were uh, editing on set, throwing yep. things in and making sure, do we get this? <laughs> I remember that, right on the laptop, man. Precise yep. with the execution, that's what you call that. Mm -hmm. Sloan, with Dan. <laughs> Now, you came up with this concept, which I love, like, I feel like, man, we complement each other so well, like, I'll give you a vision and then you just create ideas that just bump it to the next level. You talked about the concept of doors, and yeah. God opening new doors. So take us through that, man. Yeah, I, 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 had, I had a grand vision, but we didn't have the time to pull it off. Uh, where I, get, I just could see you just running through door after door after door, just, uh, but that, that would have been, that would have been another video. Yeah. But I really, I, I saw, I saw the doorway as, as almost a metaphor for how God takes nothing and everything, everything that you do in your life, uh, like it can be the simplest and most humble place yeah. and it can turn that into something. Yeah. It's a doorway into the next thing. And I've seen that in my own life. And so I figured this would be a good, a good uh, metaphor to, to transition us from one scene into the next scene. I uh, in the video. Facts, facts, man. Yeah, bro, we executed. We executed <laughs> from, you know, even the 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 the, uh, the impromptu missed the intro. Yeah. That yeah. was not planned, you know, like Sloan, you seen, you know, it was real misty outside, the fog. He was like, hey yo man, you know, walk down the street, let's catch this. And that embodied, you know, the city added the city aspect, which I used to walk everywhere. Oh. So I didn't have a car, you know what I mean? Sometimes I didn't have the bus fit, so cool. I to the to the exclusive house, you know, and walk to the house, do my rap thing in the basement with my cousin, come out, and then uh, we have the basketball scene, which everybody knows I grew up hooping, uh, and so it was, a it was a privilege and a blessing to have my nephew um, play, you know, little me while hooping, while me comes and intervenes, um, just showing, you know, that type of mentorship needed when somebody's growing up fatherless. That's just, you know, what I'll try to portray in that, that scene. Um, and then the doorway through to now, you know, with my family in the yeah. church, you know what I mean? So it's just like you get literally every aspect of Stephen Malcolm's life from rapper from the basement, ball player growing up, to now family man in the church with my son, with my wife, redemption through the whole story because, you know, me, I grew up fatherless mother addicted to you know alcohol growing up and really had to raise myself and seen nothing uh, when it comes to father figures even my uncles they passed away you know and I realized the other day that you know me and my cousins you know Michael and Josh were the really the only male figures and we never had an example of what a man looks like yeah. and so it's always been my mission to you know show the redemption that God has done in my life through you know nothing fatherless young man to something you know present father kids you know what i'm saying wife i know you can you know you got oh, yeah. wife and kids and family aspect is beautiful man and god truly does take nothing and turn it into something and uh, that's we really wanted to celebrate that uh, yeah. to bring your, your 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 kid in and your wife in at the end yeah. and to show that it's like uh you know it's, it's god first yeah. and your family yeah and then the ministry that you have Absolutely. and the impact you can have with other people, you know? Absolutely. Appreciate so. you, bro. We're going to continue making history in the yeah. West. You know what I mean? Amen. Yeah. Funny, uh, funny fact, everybody. Listen, man, if you have, if you have seen the Boats trailer, any, you know what I'm saying? Anything <laughs> we do, we put in work. Um, and so on the Boats trailer, man, share with the, share with, with the folks the, the story of shooting the Boats intro trailer, man. All right, so when, when, we, when we make videos, we go very hard. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, we pack a heck of a lot into it, or we do something crazy. Yeah. And so the boat's trailer, you know, we, we rented, a, rented a, a, a camera boat, and uh, we, we towed out. A big boat. It was a big we boat, yeah. a big boat to tow the little boat. Little boat. We go out to Lake Michigan, and uh, we get out there, and uh, Stephen, Stephen gets in the little boat, and we were shooting for a little bit, and uh, the, the big boat, the, the, the just smoke started pouring out. 
<laughs> in the in in the lake, and uh, and we hadn't shot almost we, we hardly shot anything. Yeah. And so uh, we just we decided, you know what? Let's just we don't know when this guy's boat's gonna get fixed or if it's gonna get towed. Mm -hmm. And we probably thought it'd be towed, and then we'd have to come back and do this whole thing again. Ten. So we said, hey, Steve and I. How do you feel about uh, paddling us back to shore? Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we got a real Jamaican guy just paddling us to the shores of Holland. I'm sure the, the people on the beach front might have wondered what was going on. They were definitely entertained. Yeah. <laughs> definitely entertained. Uh, and I just, I just appreciate you having such a good attitude about it too. That's what we do, bro. Uh, but it was fun. And then, and then that's not even the worst. So we, we shot everything and it was great. We loved it. And uh, we... We had to haul that boat back up the, the dunes. Yep. It was, it was something. <laughs> Hit the boat up back to the back to the truck, man. So we put in work, but uh, the execution was precise. Yep. And you know what? You didn't go and sit in a trailer while we did that. Facts. No, we put in work. Blood, sweat, and tears, baby. You know what it is. Midwest. That's what we do. Appreciate y'all, ladies and gentlemen. Go check out my latest single, Nothing Into Something. Sloan. Appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you too, man. That's how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Turns it into something. My God took nothing. Turn it into something. Take it.